I only one book about trying to go at this. I'm laughing because I just did stupid mistakes and had to start over again. I do silly things. Really, really silly mistakes. Okay, product rule. If you've never seen it before, let's first do it without the product rule. This question doesn't need the product rule, but I'm going to teach you from this so you can see that the rule is true for this case. Doesn't mean it's always true, but it is always true. Let's have a look at what we can do. So I always talk about uh, rearrange. In this case, all we're talking about is expand. So no need to use the product rule, but we'll get there in a second. So this will be 3x by 4x is 12x squared using eyebrows, plus 15x plus 8x plus 10. Hopefully you know that. If you don't know the eyebrows, you might know first, outside, inside, last, or you might just go that, 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 and that. There's so many different ways to think about it. So here we have now a 12x squared plus a 23x plus a 10. So now we can differentiate it. Now the symbol for the, the simple symbol for the derivative is that one. It becomes very popular because it's so quick to write. The traditional way to write it is to buy the x. Interesting part later, especially in Australia, if I'm using letters that aren't x and y, I will usually write all the letters rather than the shortcut. Shortcut, the brief way of writing it. What's the rule? You multiply the exponent or the index by the front, which is the coefficient, 2, 12, or 24, and decrease the power by 1. So I refer to them as, again, the DDs. When we reverse it, they become the IIs, which I like. It helps people not make so many stupid mistakes like I make. 23x just becomes 23, and 10 is gone. So by the way, this is a parabola. So you can see the parabola here. If I add 10 to a parabola, it does not change the gradient. All it does is move the graph up and down. If I was, if I was a parabola, 10 has no effect on the gradient. So the moment I put some numbers in here, I will know the gradient for that x value, so at a particular point. So there's what you could have done. Now here's the product rule. Call the first one u, call the second one v. There's so many ways that people write it. I'm going to write it the way I prefer after years of teaching it. You can swap it around. You can write it as all sorts of uh, the u, the x and on. But for the moment, I'm going to call it vuv. The reason I call it vuv is later on we're going to do next the quotient rule and the quotient rule has a subtraction there. Plus divided by v squared. So if I keep it to the both the same, you don't have to think. But a lot of people just write vuv and then put a dash on it. Once you get used to it, you can do it without even using the formula. Here we go. Hopefully we get the same as that. So we write all the v, so I write all of that. What do I have to put around it, please? The brackets. Don't need red, but I'm just going to do it for emphasis. Differentiate that one. 3x becomes just 3. Write all of that. 3x plus 2. Emphasize, I'm going to put brackets in red because I see so many people don't do it. Now remember, there's multiplying here. And there's also a multiply there. So it's called the product rule because there's two lots of x's. There's two functions multiplied by each other. Now, then I times by the derivative of that one, which is just the 4. Now, I just expand the brackets, and it'll be a 12x plus 15. 12x plus 15. Expand this will be 12x plus 8. Make sure I don't make any silly mistakes. And the answer is wonderful. And we get 23. And we get the same answer whether we did it that way or that way. So what we'll do in the next video is make it harder, or, yeah, much harder to be able to do it the expanding way. If you enjoyed, please just let your friends know.